Hey everyone, Chris here with another video. First, sorry that it's taken so long to get another video posted. Um, I was sick and also been busy with school testing here in the past week or so. So first apologize about the delay, but today I have another ROM review. Today we're gonna be going over Lineage OS. This is the unofficial version. Um, Right now, 7.1.1 NuGet. It is running the, I believe, yep, March 30th. It is running the March 30th build. It has March security patch level, so everything's pretty up to date. Um, these updates come about maybe once or twice a week. Um, so it's been a couple days since the last update, but the last update was good. It definitely improved a lot of things and it enabled a couple other features. Um, one of the features was the navigation bar. So initially when I installed this, um, there was no navigation bar similar to the Moki ROM. I had actually go into the um, build prop and add the line to enable it. And But now they've enabled that here into the buttons menu. So I'm happy to see that they fixed that. Um, the U-Touch functionality works as well um, though I don't really use it um, but other than that everything works fine this has been very smooth um, fast ROM um, it's not going to be like the Resurrection Remix by Fedor 5.8.2 but this is going to be probably better than Dirty Unicorns I would say in my opinion um, then again, I haven't tested Dirty Unicorns, but let's get into some of the customizations um, of this ROM itself. So again, this is Lineage OS, so it's not CyanogenMod. Mod. You do have some of the gestures to jump into the camera, things like that. Um, note on the camera, camera quality is okay. Um, I would say it's a little better than um, when I was trying out Citrus, but... I would say any other custom ROM aside from ZUI, you're going to lose camera quality, unfortunately. Um, status bar, you have just ability, just basic um, customizations, not going to be Dirty Unicorn's Resurrection Remix um, level, but other than that, everything seems to be working very smoothly. Performance is good. Everything loads, haven't had any problems. Um, battery life has been good. I've been getting around five hours screen on time. Um, of course, I've been charging it today, but I forgot to charge it last night, um, which as you can see was that long stint. Um, I've read other couple people have had issues. Um, I've been experiencing it myself recently. Um, I plug my phone in to charge and it doesn't actually charge, um, which is odd. So I'm not sure if it's ROM specific or if it's just hardware, more than likely it's hardware. But um, sleeping wise, um, deep sleep, I haven't had any issues um, with deep sleep on this. The only other thing, just beware, is substratum since it is Lineage OS. Um, you're not going to get the full functionality of substratum. So just be aware of that. Make sure you select the proper version to install for your theme. Otherwise, you're going to get boot loops. So just make sure of that but other than that everything's been running very smoothly there isn't much to say regarding lineage os it's a tried and true rom even in its early stages but um, you do get the privacy options of course you can select um, privacy manager which specific apps you want to have access to specific capabilities on the background boot up things like that that also can help some deep sleep if your an app is causing your phone to wake up from deep sleep you can disable things like that um, protected apps so that way you can have password things like that for certain applications but other than that if you guys have any questions about lineage os feel free to leave them down below um, i'm on t-mobile here in the u.s and voice over LTE, I haven't experienced um, it working on any ROM that I've tested. So it may be different in your area, but 
but yeah, the voice over LTE for me at least does not work. Um, I don't use Wi-Fi calling, so I haven't tested that out. But anyways, thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys will appreciate this video. And I do, I do highly recommend. I do highly recommend you trying out Lineage OS, um, just for its pure usability. Um, so thanks again for watching, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. And stay tuned. Bye-bye.